Chris Paul gets the start at the point, friend, over Darren Williams. What effect does that have? I talked to the Team USA coaching staff this morning, and they're going to really try to get after uh, Calderon in the backcourt. They think Paul's pressure could get them started. Bryant, James Durant, and Tyson Chandler again with the start in the middle. Meanwhile, for Spain, the aforementioned Jose Calderon of the Raptors, Navarro, Fernandez, Gasol, and Ibaka. Mark Gasol not starting, friend. Chris Paul behind that Tyson Chandler screen, knocks down the three. The United States shot 38% from downtown in the last game against Argentina. Well, the other thing you saw right there is Powell and Mark Gasol are not particularly good pick and roll defenders. That was the leading scorer against Argentina. He knocks down the three pointer, a shot that he's been taking a lot more frequently back in the NBA. And we're tied at three. Still tied at three. Calderon back the other way. Lobs it up for Ibaka. And Serge Ibaka gets it to go. Serge Ibaka. Born in the Republic of Congo, friend, but how does he end up playing for the Spanish team? FIBA allows you to have one naturalized citizen on your roster. The Spanish Basketball Federation chose Ibaka. He played with them in the Eurobasket Championships last year. Here's Gasol, wide open from the free throw line. They're going to have to cover him. He can knock that down. LeBron settles for the three. And the United States a little bit stagnant that time on offense, friend. I think the key for Team USA is you cannot just rely on contested jump shots. They see Navarro from downtown. I think what you got to do, Mark, is you've got to spread the floor. And I think LeBron has got to be the guy that has the ball in his hands. Come off those screens. Calderon inside to Ibaka. And Ibaka gets the layup to go off over LeBron. Rudy with the three. And rebounded by the United States. Here's Chris Paul. This is the way they've got to play. Paul on the break. And the jumper good by Carmelo Anthony. Now LeBron is guarding Gasol inside. Ibaka lets the jumper fly and knocks it down over Carmelo Anthony. Here's LeBron on the move. And that's going to be a goaltending call. Calderon inside. Nice pass to Serge Ibaka. Calderon is a surgeon. I'm telling you, a guy averaged nine assists a game this year for the Toronto Raptors. Carmelo inside, had it rejected. Got the second one back, and that's going to be good on the goaltending charge. A three-point ball game now. See what Spain can do with Pau Gasol getting a breather on the bench. Another nice dime by Calderon to Ibaka. One thing about the United States, friend, they're going to get everybody's A game. Well, there's no question about it. Uh, Look at this, a doctor right now is dominating. You can see there's no white shirts coming from the weak side. Mark. Sada made one too many pass. Gets it back and knocks down another three. It's a 10-point lead, actually a long two. Williams squeezes through and one. Of course, you remember uh, Darren Williams played for Besiktas. I want to say, friend, is that the way to pronounce it? You're, you're the expert. Be Besiktas. Serge Ibaka might have forced that one up a little bit. Thrown up, and that's going to go to Andre Iguodala. Carmelo, lethal in the half court as a score. Carmelo Anthony already with 10 points, friend. This match as Westbrook gets the layup to go on that shot over Claver. And it's down to a two-point lead for Spain. Jim Beheim is the zone coach, but I don't think they're going to play a lot of zone. I think you know, if they can't guard Spain man to man, they're going to be in trouble when they get to London. Here's Kobe. See, I'd love the ball in LeBron's hands. Not necessarily to do that, but to make plays and get to the rim. LeBron James knocks down the three. Tied at 28 as we approach six and a half minutes. Under six and a half minutes to go here. Nice feed inside by LeBron to Carmelo Anthony for the layup. Good basketball that time. Great set right there. Calderon with the jumper over Chris Paul. Took it right at him. It's all guarded by the shorter Carmelo Anthony. Got a little one on him. They held out, but to no avail. Saul still got a clean look at it. And here comes LeBron. See how Spain is trying to navigate that mismatch inside. Carmelo Anthony has it clicking on all cylinders right now. 18 points in the first half for Melo. But Serge Ibaka has uh, run his mouth a little bit, but he's backing it up with his play today in a big way. Chris Paul off the screen, and Chris Paul on the scoreboard. Again, he's got five. That time Calderon turned it over. LeBron on the move and the layup. United States lethal in transition. That's where they can get you. Bad pass turned it over as Ibaka couldn't find the handle. That's the 11th turnover. LeBron on the move. Nice kick out. 
Great ball movement, and Carmelo cashes in. Here's Darren Williams, Durant from downtown. Durant having a tough time, but Kobe inside LeBron uh, took the hit. I see if you're LeBron, you got to go right through a Baca's body. No reason to double pump. He might get an easy one here. Feeds it to Kobe for the easy layup. And the United States leading by 11. Kobe on the post up. Gets the slam to go. That looked like the number eight Kobe Bryant, not the number 24. Calderon forced to jack a bad shot. Back comes the United States in transition. That's going to be a goal 10 call against Iblaka. Here's Durant. Back to LeBron. Good ball movement, and Durant knocks down a three. So they trade a two for a three. They lead back up to nine. There's that USA quickness in effect again. And at the other end, Durant finishes. Lethal once again in transition. The triple handoff by LeBron. Gets it back. Good ball movement. And that time, no doubt about the finish. Carmelo steps into a three. Maybe waited a little bit too long. LeBron underneath. United States making the extra pass. And Durant cashes in. Lead up to 12. Paul blows by Gasol. Missed the shot, but got it back. And Durant off the nice feed. United States now leading by 14. Well, right now they've broken down Spain's half-court defense and they're starting to get really easy looks. And LeBron James on the slam dunk. And is coming off of back surgery. He's still not quite 100% yet though, right? Well, he's had his moments in exhibition games where he's played really well, but you don't expect him to be 100% after surgery. Russell Westbrook. Knocks down the jumper against the zone defense. They screen the zone. Russell Westbrook knocks down another one. And the lead now and the foul as Russell Westbrook makes it an 18-point USA lead. And Chris Paul's pressure has gotten to Calderon here in the second half. And sure Westbrook. Has. Yep, sure has. And Russell Westbrook turned it into two more. Four on the shot clock. Time to get to work. Westbrook gets the jack up. Kept alive by Iguodala. Iguodala, the guy that does a lot of the dirty work for this USA team. Nice movement without the ball. Carmelo with the rebound. Muscles it up and in. Carmelo Anthony putting some muscle in his hustle. Nice feed to Reyes inside. The lead is down to just 12. Harden on the move. And Harden fouled by Yule. James Harden, who uh, secured that 12th spot on Coach K's roster. And on that play, friend, you saw Carmelo Anthony tip in the ball while it was still in the cylinder. That's one of the differences in FIBA. I think Spain today has certainly tried to win this game, but I wouldn't necessarily think they've thrown the kitchen sink at Team USA. I think Paul Marcus all would play if this were a medal game. LeBron with the turnaround. Not a fan of that strategy where you just defer and say, we're not going to beat him twice. LeBron in the corner throws it up for him, and that's the way you do the alley-oop. Kobe Bryant spins on Yule. Underneath to LeBron, and LeBron with the split leg Globetrotter layup. Floater a little bit short. And the USA on the run. Showtime for LeBron. And Surprise time out. Ball out of travel. Yeah. <laughs> the ball tipped up by Love, and Russell Westbrook missed the tip. Kevin Love missed it. Westbrook got it. Love got it. United States with a series and a great move by Love on the baseline. Well, he got all three times right there, but he stayed with it. And a good job by Kevin Love. We haven't seen Team USA do any double teaming with Pau Gasol today, Mark. That time had his way with Kevin Love on the block. I expect him to have a big year, especially with Steve Nash joining the Lakers. LeBron, meanwhile, makes it a 20-point game on the three ball. LeBron now hitting the 20-point mark. A lot of guys wouldn't want to come back and play, and LeBron with a spirited and accurate display of shooting here. Makes it a 21-point advantage. LeBron James on the drive. LeBron almost had the end one. Anthony Davis, meanwhile, has checked into the ball game for the United States. So I would equate it to a team with two great all-pro tight ends. You got to play them both, so there's less you can do in your passing game. That makes sense? Yes. And that made sense, too. A great block by Anthony Davis. Player of the year in college basketball. <laughs> he's, he's, so, he's so happy about that three-year deal he signed today. <laughs> There's the lob and a nice throwdown. Victor Gouver, 2009, he's first-round pick of the Blazers. He'll join them this year. He's still going to be a role player. Needs to put some strength on, but he's one of those stretch four men that can 
keep people honest on, on the LaMarcus Aldridge this year in the paint. James Harden on the scoreboard for the first time. That outside jumper no good. Darren Williams rests it away from Serge Ibaka. And even 350 hitters go over four some nights. You know what <laughs> right. I mean? And now it's 12, pardon me, 13 of 23 from downtown. And the largest lead of the night at 100 to 78. So the United States has this one cooked, glazed, and just about sliced. 20 years from the original Dream Team, this year's edition of Team USA defeating Spain in Barcelona on the same streets, on the same ground. The final score, 100 to 70. Grand final five. Well, I thought their defensive pressure was very, very good, especially the last three quarters.